Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel Arkit Yuva. I am architect Pravi and I make content related to architecture and interiors. If you are new here, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel below. So after so many requests today, I am here with the most highly requested video on the channel. So we are going to be discussing all about the BH admission process, uh, counselings and your queries as well. I hope this resolves your query and please watch the video till the very end. Do not skip the video. So having said all of this, let us dive into the video. Okay, so now let us discuss about the admission process as we have given JEE and NATA examination. We have different types of counselling, okay. So for those who don't know, we have one JOSA and CSAP for NIT, then IIT and your SPAs, okay. So these are some of the very well known counselling registrations that you can do. One is JOSA which means Joint Seat Allocation Authority and CSAP means your Central Seed Allocation Board, okay. You can just register yourself by your JWE score here and for state counselling, college counselling and direct counselling you can use your NATA plus JWE score both. Discussing about JOSA counselling, so you will have to register online through their website, okay. Then you will have to fill the choices of the institute and then you will have seat allotment, okay. Then either you have three options. If you want to freeze that option, if you want to float it to the next round or you will have to slide option for the better allotment and once you have decided on these three, you will have to verify your document and that will be the end of the procedure, okay. So this procedure mostly starts from like 4th round and 5th round will be in July. Be ready for that. Now discussing how you can apply for JOSA. So these are some of the steps that you'll have to go through. You'll have to go to JOSA website. Okay, then you'll have to click on the registration link. If you have already registered, then log in over here or you can apply for new registration over here. Then you'll have to give basic details of you and you'll have to confirm them. Okay, and you'll have to give your merit score. Okay, now discussing about the cutoff. So many of you always ask if I will be able to get this particular university or will I be placed into SPA. So I will answer this for you. So you can go to uh, JOSA website okay, and you can check the cutoff for yourself. Then you will find open and closing ranks link there and you can fill the form okay, as I have filled it okay, and you can choose the category accordingly and otherwise all of this will be the same okay and then you will get this list for the you know institutes that you are eligible for and you will get the opening rank and closing rank and you can see uh, what is your rank okay and accordingly you can select your choice of institutes now here i have given the revised schedules for josa 2024 so round one and round two has been already done but now that you have round 3 even round 3 is also done so now you have round 4 and round 5 okay so make sure you are ready for that now discussing about CSAP CSAP is also similar to the JOSA you will have to follow this certain steps uh, to register yourself and these are some of the institutes that will be participating in the uh, CSAP counseling okay here again I have the schedule okay registration schedule so make sure you have special round one and special round two okay and these are some of the documents that you will be needing okay 10th class mark sheet aadhar card birth certificate 12th class mark sheet your uh, category certificate etc so you'll have to make sure you have all of them ready with you the xerox the originals etc okay and these are some of the colleges which are there in the JOSA and CSAP. These are the common colleges but there are many more colleges. Okay. These are some of the famous colleges. I hope you have watched this video because in this particular video I have government college and private colleges. So you will have a clear idea. Okay. So make it a point to watch this video. Now discussing about the state counselling. These are the steps. First you will have to fill the form. 
then there are document verification and these are the listed documents over here that you will be needing then you will be required of your merit score okay uh, and depending on your merit score the list of your cutoff will be provided okay i have here mentioned about all of the seat intake as per state wise okay and i hope you have heard about the new update wherein now 50% of the criteria is gone and they have reduced it to the 45 marks and that too is aggregate of all the subjects like physics, maths and whatever the third subject along with chemistry or biology. It is not mandatory to only have chemistry. You can go for biology, technical, vocational subject or computer science etc. It can be anything actually. Uh, so this is the update from NATA 2024. I was waiting for this update and then I wanted to let you know I am a bit late to make this video but I hope this video helps you and yes with that we have discussed all about the NATA counselling and your BR admission process I hope you found this video helpful and if you do you know the trick please like comment share and do not forget to subscribe to my channel below and I'll see you in my next video till then please take care and bye